वेलकम टू द एसे ऑन द टॉपिक आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस द जॉनरा ऑफ दिस एसे इज एक्सप्लेनेटरी सिंथेसिस एसे दिस इज मी प्रोफेसर बीरेंद्र पांडे पीएचडी फ्रॉम स्टेट यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ न्यूयॉर्क एट स्टोनी ब्रुक फॉर द स्टडी एन इंस्टीट्यूट फॉर आई एस दिव्यम एजुकेशन प्राइवेट लिमिटेड न्यू डेली Our exact topic is rise of artificial intelligence, the threat of jobless future, or better opportunities through reskilling and upskilling. Here is our introductory paragraph. As you can see, this paragraph contains fonts in three colors. it begins with fonts in black colors then it moves to font in green colors and the final sentence is in red color the font in black regular black introduces the topic the font in the green introduces the issue and then uh, the final sentence in red uh constitutes the thesis statement of this essay so let me now read out to you the introductory paragraph artificial intelligence is a volume of computer science which highlights the creation of intellectual technologies that work and respond like humans it is being increasingly used in numerous fields like medical diagnosis stock tra trading robo scientific discovery and automobile industry it has already replaced well over half of the jobs in the car and related industries in the developed countries in recent decades china already has 631 industrial robots over 10000 employees just a third level in the usa and also a tenth of south korea On the other hand the Taiwanese iPhone company has already activated a drive which can replace 10000 of factory workers and have planned to make an LCD panel that can automate one in five of its jobs and also there are significant worries about industries like garments for new innovative tools called shoe boots that demonstrate a threat to textile workers in bangladesh on the one hand there exists a genuine fear that machine as advancement should destroy jobs and on the other hand there has been a wave of reassurances minimizing their negative impacts however in the recent years the traction fast gaining ground is that artificial intelligence will lead to better job opportunities through reskilling and upskilling that is learning up new skills for acquiring ability to do a different job and mastering of new skills respectively this essay subscribes to the idea that artificial intelligence will exert positive impact on future jobs so our thesis statement uh recognizes the positive the positive impact that artificial intelligence is going to have over now to the second paragraph that is the first body paragraph here uh the first sentence let's look at the first sentence there is however a very high probability that technological unemployment will rise in the coming decades so in this paragraph and then you know um, a little below the middle of the paragraph you see here again a transition word but transition word but here you see the transition word but just below the middle so uh, what i am doing in this paragraph is i am giving you a balanced view a balanced view of the negative impact and the positive impact 
of art artificial intelligence in this paragraph so that uh, the topic becomes uh, even clearer and uh, for the purpose of transition i have begun this paragraph uh, with this transition word however uh, which connects to uh, let me go back which connects to the sentence over here which is the thesis statement the essay subscribes to the idea that artificial intelligence will exert positive impact on the future jobs so thesis statement talks about the positive impact but the next paragraph uh, begin, begins uh, with the negative impact this is why for the transition i have this transition word however okay so now let me uh, read out this paragraph there is however a very high probability that technological unemployment will rise in the coming decades the potentially disruptive impact of technology on jobs features prominently in the media most often with alarmist headlines and contributes to feed insecurity in the workforce truck drivers three attended by autonomous vehicles are obvious example of the insecurity besides transportation among the most vulnerable jobs are those in office administration production and food preparation such jobs are deemed high risk with over 70% of their tasks potentially automatable even though they represent only one quarter of all jobs for the low skill labor and intensive industrialization a middle income country like bangladesh may have such a primacy of robots and automation for its garment industry that in future the technical the technology replacement will affect more than 5 million 5 million lower skilled women currently working in the sector a projected scenario like that of bangladesh has already fueled alarm that innovation will cause permanent mass unemployment and a significant further widening of income inequality but now i am uh, giving uh, a view opposite to the negative view so uh, this transition word but but the panic about it is an exaggeration since fear that technology will create massive unemployment is not new in the early 19th century workers in france would throw their wooden shoes called sabots or clogs in the newly introduced textile machines to break them so as to preserve their employment allegedly this practice lies at the origin of the word sabotage in the coming years however textile and similar machines did not exert a negative impact on a significant scale on the wor workforce therefore the panic about job loss misses the more complex and nuanced relationship between human abilities and technological abilities uh now over to uh, body paragraph number 2 overall the third paragraph of the essay and here transition is at the level of idea uh the transition is at the level of idea the first sentence that is in the red uh that suggests clearly suggests the transition at the level of idea the synergistic subtlety entailing human skill and technological capability can be unraveled by two hypothetical situations let it be assumed that there will be jobs where over 50% of the tasks can be automated but the minority share of tasks that cannot be automated is crucial to the nature of the job itself this could lead to a situation where the worker keeps the job outsources some of the tasks to the technology and takes on additional in some cases more interesting and rewarding tasks that become part of the reconfigured job description in a way that need that need not imply any job loss in another hypothetical situation the automation of a share of the tasks might instead lead to a consolidation of responsibilities and a reduction in the number of jobs to take a simple example suppose a situation where two thirds of the tasks in a job are automated 
and a worker is then able to perform the work previously carried out only by three workers. This could lead to a direct reduction in head count by two thirds, which could however be compensated by the attendant improvement in competitiveness generating additional demand. The upshot is that innovations will lead to a stronger overall job creation in the long run by boosting economic growth and purchasing power, enabling the rise of new jobs. This is consistent with the historical experience of the past two centuries. Now uh, to the third paragraph and here the transition word that you see is accordingly uh, which is in red font. Uh, accordingly rather than slowing it down we should continue fostering and enabling innovation and stay ahead of the curve by anticipating technological changes that are bound to occur. This time however it will be even more important to manage the transition effectively because this new digital dimension promises to make innovation in industry faster and more disruptive than in the past. This will require taking measures to not only cushion the social impact of inevitable transitory disruptions but also to enable employment through, through reskilling and upskilling. Today, the corporate world is on the brink of an epochal transition. According to a recent <coughs> McKinsey Global Institute report, more than 375 million workers may need to completely change their skill sets by the year 2030. That said, Things are about to change for the better with several key corporate players increasingly investing in reskilling and upskilling their existing workforce. An especially powerful example is the development of upskilling technologies, that is, portable and wearable digital devices that can augment, augment means increase, that can augment the abilities of workers at different levels of their skill distribution, and that are already being deployed on factory floors. For example, augmented reality smart glasses can be used in manufacturing and field services to provide workers with just in time step by step instructions on how to perform specific procedures. Such devices can give workers instant on the job training and allow them to tap the support and accumulated expertise of their colleagues. Now over to body paragraph number four, the overall fifth paragraph of the essay. This uh, paragraph is entirely devoted to upskilling and reskilling. Again, transition is at here at the level of idea, continuation of the idea from the previous paragraph. Upskilling and reskilling can help define the career paths of employees. Depending on career aspirations, either one can certainly help move their careers along. Reskilling can help the employees recover from, from poor choices that they have made in their education. For example, earlier focusing on software but subsequently realizing that hardware was more suitable for them. In case the employees do not feel like undergoing the same grind of pursuing a degree, they can opt for any short term certification course, either self financed or through a loan for short term vocational courses. And upskill their current occupational skill sets. No matter what choice the employees make, always improving their existing skill levels by investing in further learning stands them in good stead. Such arrangements will help remove the growing mismatch between the skills demanded by a rapidly evolving economy and those supplied by an education that struggles to keep pace. Now we come to the concluding paragraph of the essay and here you see the transition word thus in red color, then you see uh, fonts in green color and again you see fonts in red color. So thus uh, is uh, the transition word uh, and the fonts in green colors summarizes uh, the gist of the middle paragraphs and uh, the fonts in the Mm, the portion in the red color that restates the thesis statement. So, uh, like in one sentence, mm, here mm, 
you know the entire essay has been concluded this is a very higher way of doing the conclusion uh, something you can perfect after a lot lot of practice okay so let's see how uh, how it reads thus measures like reskilling and upskilling coupled with the ability of the job creating impact exerted by the adoption of artificial intelligence and similar innovations to offset their job destroying repercussions nullify the threat of a jobless future the total word of this essay is 1159 words and in this way this essay has been completed uh so we come to the end of our lecture today in the next lecture we will take the 2020 uh, upsc exam question for the gs paper and we will analyze the entire question uh, for your uh, analytical understanding of the question that will tell you, you know how you can analyt analytically understand the question before you start writing about you so see you in the next class bye bye for today thank you